Hey, plywood prices lower than a snake's belly in a wagon rut. Not really, but they dropped again this week by $10. They were, as so you remember this graph? Oh, and I did a, remember, remember uh, I asked you folks to offer your opinions, whiteboard versus plywood. It was pretty much a split. So I'm going, going to do both just for fun. And we're out in the sun. It's a beautiful August day. I love it. So my able assistant, Lauren, she's going to draw the magic number. It was, um, it was $52. It held steady for two weeks. And it just dropped another $10 down to $42. Look at her penmanship. And then if we even further, if she drew a red line, that would be awesome. Good job. <laughs> So um, it's still double what it was last year, but it's half of what it was at $80, $82. Still has a long ways to go. I'm still not buying plywood, by the way. It's just too high. So we're hoping that it will continue dropping. I'm going to have to redo this uh, little graph to fit it in because I don't have any more room for weeks. Also, just to, to put up something else, August 2021, Ken's Carpentry, two by four eight footers dropped again. They were, uh, last week, they were 498. I don't have the dates on here. This is just kind of an illustration. It dropped to 442. Again, it's about half uh, it dropped about half of where it was. It's still double what it was last year. Not going to buy them. Um, an interesting fact about two by fours. The, I think it, it, I'm not sure why. It, I think because they've they've two by four eights are a more common size. They're perhaps using them more, or perhaps people are checking the prices only on 2 by 4 eights and not on 2 by 4 16s. So I looked up 2 by 4 16s at the local box store, 03561 if you want to go to that local box store number uh, zip code and check it. Uh, 2 by 4 16s are $12.5, so it's like 50% per, per board foot. It's about 50% more than 2 by 4 eights per board foot. So it's not like all great. Not everything has dropped. Those have not dropped. OSB has dropped um, finally a little bit. Uh, I did not check to see if OSB was lower than plywood now. It was reversed, which is out of the ordinary. Typically plywood is more. Uh, it hasn't been. I love that you guys are keeping me honest because you noted that the last video, my math was off by $100 on a garage. Uh, so I, I'm not writing down all these numbers. There's quite a few numbers to just run through my head real quickly. Um, so for a garage package price, I'm still not going to lower um, the price on the website because even though plywood dropped $10, which represents maybe um, about $260 to $280 drop, and 50 cents on 100 2 by 4 eighths is, is, that's right, $50. So it's dropped a little over $300 from what it was the week before. All the other items, metal roofing is still sky high, trusses are still still way up. They haven't come down. We may not see them go down for a while and it takes eight weeks to get trusses. So I don't see that really being a benefit this year for me. There may be people that, that order them in the near future that can get that lower price. I don't know. So what else? Windows have not gone down. Concrete has stayed the same. Well, it went up three dollars this spring. To I'm paying $139 per cubic yard. It stayed right there, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Rebar has gone up a little bit. It's not too bad. 
think I paid uh, around six dollars, just over six dollars a stick for a, for a half inch, twenty footer. That was, um, well, that was four months ago probably that I bought I bought two packs, three hundred bars. I haven't even priced that to see where it's at now. I think it's, hopefully it's gone down. I don't know. I guess we'll know when I buy, I'm, I'm almost out, so I may buy some in September. I'm still looking at that. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to finally get my inventory uh, cut down and, and uh, get it out of here so I can have my yard again. It's been, it's been crazy. You want to take a look at my yard? This will be gone in another week. This will be gone in a week. And then everything in, inside the building will be almost all gone. There's, that's it. There's enough in there for uh, plywood and OSB for two more jobs and T111. That will clear it out. I could actually, if I wanted to, park my pickup truck in there. Do an oil change or something. So. Prices, garage prices are the same. Lumber down, plywood down. Everything else still up. And I don't, I haven't heard any rumblings uh, of it going down. So there you are. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.